Well, we're set up. I'm not going to take you for a spin through here because you've seen one farmer's market, you've seen them all. Just about. I'll just take you for a quick spin and see who's here and who's coming. That's all we're going to see. It's a little breezy today. My leader's with me again. We moved from over there. Some of the neighbors in that section right there complained we were making too much noise and they wanted to sleep in on Saturday. So they moved us over here about two blocks, three blocks. I don't know how far it is. All right, that's it for a while. Well, all the vendors are here now. Customers are coming in. Five minutes to nine. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen vendors. Sixteen vendors. Coffee guy, I didn't see him. Okay, here we go. What kind of knife day will we have? I don't know. Okay. Do you do saw blades? No, I have to send them to uh Well we got a wood store and I can't Hankel. There's a Hankel mark right there. We got a Cathalon, a Mariabi, and a Chicago cutlery. We got Cisco serrated and a little para. Then we got Dexter's. So we got a little business going. Well, I'm headed home. I got a, a telephone call from a guy who wants me to swing by his house and pick up some machetes and knives and I don't know what all it is. So maybe today I'll end up being a few knives. And then I got a guy call me and said, I got a hunting knife I need to bring by. Can I wait while you sharpen it? I said, yeah. So we'll see what uh, we're going to pick up here. We'll stand by about uh, 15 minutes and I'll get back to us. Well, I'm uh, about four minutes from where I have to turn off to get to my house. I may not ever get there. A snafu someplace. That's right, I'm not going home anyway. I gotta go pick them knives up. That's another 10 minutes in this direction. I may not even get there either. I don't know. Well, I may not have done many knives at the farmer's market, but this stop I just made, made up the whole day in one stop. <laughs> you ain't gonna believe it till I get home, I'll show you. Great balls of fire. We got a U.S. diver's knife. An old copy commando knife. Got two Gerber Bear, Bear Gillis. We got two Curry, Curry type knives. He said they're a buddy uh, picked them up for him in Pakistan, and they're not really in too bad of shape. They've never been used. They're brand new, but got a, and a fairly decent edge on them. And then we have five, or six, one, two, three, four, five, six machetes. Made, it says, Gavelin, the Encona. No, D in Columbia, Columbia. They're all the same. G A V I L A N. D in Colona, Colombo, Colombia. Importer is Atlantic, Atlantic Co. Marietta, Georgia. I don't know what any of that says.
Guy likes machetes, I think. Afternoon delight. My little truck is emptied out. Finally, I should be going to the recliner. And I got a guy bringing me a knife to get sharpened while he waits. I got no clue what it is. I think I told you. But we'll know in a few minutes. He's inbound at 55 miles an hour. I got the other two I was telling you about. Custom made knives. Right. This gentleman right here made them. How you doing? <laughs> Pretty nice. Well, circus train dog. You, you want to play ball? You ain't got no balls. You're short of balls today. Circus train dog. Oh, bounced off your nose, circus train dog. The figs are coming. The figs are coming. Circus train. You better get going, circus train dog. Oh. <laughs> You're having a tough time today. Indian. What are you doing, Indian? Indian wants to play with his rope. Their favorite toy right here. And you're so spoiled. Yo, you finally caught one, Indian tra circus trained dog. Two in a row, circus trained dog. My leader is cooking dinner for us. One steak. It was really thick, so we had to cook it a little longer. We got the other one over here. I cut the grass, I, edged, I mean I cut the edge of the yard, now I'm trying to get to the recliner after dinner. Chris is ready to make some really nice salad dressing. This is just greens with shaved parmesan. This is lemon and olive oil. This right here will take your breath away. So good. Mm. Look at them lemons. How many lemons you got in this stuff? Uh, a half a cup. What's in, what else is in it? Olive oil and what? Olive oil and a pinch of salt and pepper. That's it. Mmm. Oh, there they're inside now. What do you think, circus trained dog? Steak. Pieces of steak. The Indian. What are we drinking? We bought a bunch of this wine right here. We really like it, so we bought a bunch of it. Uncaged. Z uh, Alexander Brown. Alexander Brown, yeah. Corn of War. Uh oh. Indians. Mumble's man went to the bay. You can see he got a clam. Some caps, some pennies, gray matter. I got excited. He said, don't get excited. There it is. I don't know the camera cut off. I don't know if you've already seen this or not. Looks like a gold ticket, but he says he's mumbling bad. It's junk. 2019 class rank. One of the local high schools around here. He says it's cadmium or whatever they make them out of nowadays. But it's not gold. Uh, he's mumbling bad, he said. He's going to try to reach out to the kid. See if we can get it back to him. Okay, that's it. I'm in the recliner, but I haven't eaten yet. 
I'm sitting here watching golf. Look at this nice ticket that I thought took my breath away till I asked him. Okay, I'll get back to you. I don't think I'm going to put anything else in here, but who knows? The world might come to an end. Stand by.